Behold the horny dragon. Hello people, my name is Fox, and you might be noticing you're not staring at a table waiting for my hands. No, in fact, you are high at the top of a media shelf because this video is showing off some project I've been working on for about two weeks now, and it is my giant RPG shelf, which started as just this, and then it got uh, very much bigger. It's basically a combination game shelf, journal shelf, dice storage, display, sadness, uh, exhibition. That uh, yeah, so it's basically another dice collection video. You get to see how, uh, how my dice collection is going. It's shrunk, believe it or not, because, so I'm just storing the ones that I do want in these convenient jars. Yeah, let's get started right into it with the dice. Let me show you how I'm storing dice nowadays. The camera is very high. So these are little chest wooden box things that you can buy at AC Moore for about a dollar, and I've just been painting them and adding leather slash felt to the uh, insides for no reason other than for, like, display purposes and to call them dice chests. Uh, this one has all the Pokemon die, dice that I care about, and it's got a squid on it. I painted the squid. I painted this a long time ago. I probably make it look a lot uh, cooler now, but there we go. So here's all the Pokemon dice, as well as the Satan dice. All hail the Satan dice. Uh, yeah, and it's just in this cool little box. This is some other project I'm working on. I'm putting little hooks on them just to see what happens, and I found this at a flea market. It's treasure. This whole shelf is basically D and D thing. So let's just pretend it's treasure. That box doesn't have anything in it. And this one contains all the Ravnica dice. I went through the trouble of trying to get them all on the guild symbol, but as you can see, some of them shift around. And this is some really cool leather that I got at a craft store a long time ago that I can't find anymore. It looks really cool. It looks like squid. I like it. This is Filbert. Um, I won him in an arcade. He's a dick. The two giant dice that got a Caesar's Palace. And here's one of many, many journals slash books that you'll be seeing in this video. I have a problem with buying books. I buy a lot of books. And this is a cool one. It's like a leather bound journal. And it doesn't have lines in it, which is neat. I hate journals that are lined. I prefer journals like this where, you know, they let you do whatever. It's just yellow paper and it looks cool. Moving down the shelf. That was a fairly smooth transition. So these are little jars that I got at Michael's. They come in a 10-pack for about $6, and I got a bunch of them. So here we go. So yeah, I'm keeping these in jars in sets of three. So I'm kind of stylizing them. So this one's very galaxy-oriented. This one has uh, some, like, marbly looking sets in it. Basic white and black and this color dice. Now my air conditioner is starting up, which is going to make this video very loud. Uh, here is sea glass. Um, I actually have another sea glass dice I'm uh, going to get set for. Here are elven. Here's all the elven dice. The gummy dice. This one has, obviously, all the ones that look to me like gummy. This is the cool jar. It has all the dice that I really, really like and use almost on a constant basis. This is the hard-to-read jar. These dice are hard to read. Jolly Rancher. And others. I, I think it's just like another marbly set. Jolly Rancher. Now you might be wondering, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You had way more dice than this. You're right. Let me take the camera off the tripod and show you where the others have gone. So, here's where the other dice are. They're in this drawer kit. As you can see, I have them all bagged and nicely lined up. I have no depth perception with this camera. Here's some more. Get this bag out of the way. Didn't mean to throw it over there. Here's some more. Here's some more. And here's some more, but not D20s. Instead, it's a bunch of D6 sets. Uh, that one is the Oki... What's it called? Okie Doki Dice. Yeah, that's the name of it. The Okie Doki Dice I got at SCG uh, King of Prussia, I think. And then a dice bag back there. And here we have a D&D dice bag. All the dice bags that I'm showing you are filled with paper for display purposes. Here's the Horny Dragon, in case you want to see him again. This is the chip from a casino that I had. No purpose. This is something. I don't know what it is, but it kind of matches the theme of the shelf, so I, put, so I put it there. Here's a leather pouch that I made. It's not very good, so we hide it under the under the thing. More dice! This houses all the, I believe, Pokemon. Yep, all the Pokemon dice. I'm actually probably going to get rid of all these soon, just because I don't really like them. I'm not a huge fan of small dice, just in general. But, uh, yeah, if I'm going to get rid of them, I'd rather get rid of them as a set. I am not getting rid of these, by the way. I will keep these forever, so don't even ask. 
Here we have some two more polyhedral sets. This is actually another project I'm working on. Uh, I got this little wooden box and I want to try and sand it down. Uh, probably add some some leather to the bottom here so it doesn't you know, sound like that. Also, the bottom is fairly unstable, so I want to see if I can fix that. This is another box uh, or thing that I wanted to at a uh, flea market, at an arcade. And I'm putting... God damn it. And I have all the tiny dice in here. Also, there's a mirror, and I'm pointing it away from me because I don't want you to see my face. Yeah, it has all the small D6s or the counters, if you will. The D6s uh, lined up in a set, and then these ugly D6s that my friend Frank gave me. And here's a bowl of D20s, specifically MTG Countdown D20s. Just a big ass bowl of them. I got this bowl at Goodwill for a dollar. Buy stuff at Goodwill. Sometimes it doesn't smell bad. All right, I'm gonna try really hard not to shake the camera too bad. So these are journals, um, and this is what really is the comp comprising most of this shelf, as you can see. I got a lot of them. These are little notebooks that I make. Uh, more sketchbooks. Those are D&D &D stuff, but here we go. Uh, more books, more books, more books. I won't really get too much into them, but I have a lot of, a lot of books. I have a lot of problems in my life. Yeah, these are journals that I've been working on. So these are called, well, they're, I guess they're colloquially known as faux dories uh, because they're fake Midoris that Michaels used to sell. Michaels actually sells better ones now. Uh, yeah, this is a Michaels Traveler's Notebook. Uh, they sell about 10 bucks, and they're good enough. I've been using this for a very, very long time, and I really, really like it. But these ones they sold a while back, and they're just cheap leather notebooks, and they came with uh, books inside, but the books are pretty... Yeah, crappy so I made my own book with a uh, stained paper because I figured that'd be more on theme this is this was the first one I made uh, and it looked put my sandals over there and it looks a lot cooler than the other ones um, I used an Asian coin of some sort I'm not really sure of where uh, the paper in here is I think a lot better a lot cooler looking and there's a lot more of it this is one that I made from scrap leather I even I put a little hinge in there uh, and as you can see, it's it's just an empty journal. I gotta play some uh, some games, man. I gotta play some D DCC Classic, uh, so I can get some use out of these for once. That's my everyday carry dice bag. That's a dice bag that I usually use a lot. Here's a jar of dice. They won't fit in those you know, nicely, so I just put them in a bigger jar that I bought. This is my uh, other carry dice bag that I use. These are empty journals. There's nothing in them. Again, more books. There's not really much to say about them. There's just a lot of them. There's a lot, of, a lot of notebooks. Oh, here's, here's all the, uh, the casino dice. If you care about that stuff. Like I said, these are full of paper for display purposes. They just look really cool, so I put them lined up. That is another pencil case that I use to carry dice sometimes. Um, here are these little. I guess these are the Pathfinder, the Paizo uh, figurines that they sell. I know my the store that I go to sells a lot of them. I'm actually going to get some, uh, they have Dragonborn ones that I'm going to get, which are little lizard guys, which I like. And yeah, I painted this one. Not great at painting figurines, but I think I did a decent job. Here's a Blink Dog. You know, if you care. There's Ayula. And there's a Pegasus from the Magic Token figure thing that they did a while back. Uh, those are more leather notebooks that I made. I didn't make these. I made all the ones from here on. This is just a leather notebook made out of scrap leather, which I'm pretty sure was used to make a couch. Uh, again, scrap leather, and it's a notebook that I stitched together with a very basic stitching thing. This is a traveler's notebook of sorts. It actually has just yellow craft paper in there and a really cool, I think a really cool interior. I call this the Cthulhu uh, traveler notebook. I actually want to try and cut the corners whenever I get the chance, maybe. Um, but yeah, I stitched it together. That side blue. Very, very Cthulhuian. Another traveler's book. There's nothing in it. Another traveler's book. There's nothing in it. I make a lot of these friggin' things. And there's more stuff up there. That Crown Royal bag has all my dice bags. And yes, there's a record behind it. It's, uh, it's, uh, yes. <laughs> fragile. Fragile by yes. It's, I got the record at a flea market for a dollar. Uh, it has Roundabout on it. You know, the fun anime JoJo song that people only know because of JoJo. You should listen to more prog rock, man. All right, finally, the D&D books. So these are free RPG day books that uh, every now and then I'll try to get a game written out. Um, here is the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica. It kind of stats out some characters from Ravnica, just to kind of give a quick like overlap. It explains all the guilds fairly well. You even got statted characters. I think Nivim is at somewhere around here. Got this giant worm. I think Loxodon's become a fairly popular character class now. Oh, here, here's Lazav, there's Jared, 
Uh, some other stuff. There's oh, Barbigmos. Oh, here's here's Niv Mazet. How much? I think I got mad because they they classified him as a oh yeah they classified him as a gargantuan dragon. He ain't that fat. He he's just big boned because he's a dragon. He's got the big bones. That is a 3.5 monster manual. That is fantasy art and RPG maps, which is a book my friend Eric gave me, which I really like. This is the giant DCC Ugh, classic. Uh, player handbook or role-playing game main book, which I only think they have one, and then they have, like, uh, uh, quests that you can buy, like, uh, little printed-out quests. This this book is freaking amazing. Um, essentially, it's AD&D. &D. It, it's basically just the entire rule set of AD&D. &D. A big portion of this book is, is dedicated to, like, spells and wizards um, and introduction quests, uh, but it's a freaking massive book. Uh, $39.99, uh, fairly cheap. Fairly, fairly cheap comparatively to like that, which are which retails. I think this retails for like thirty on its own. This retails for fifty on its own. Well, this entire game in a giant fat death making book uh, only costs forty bucks. That's why I like DCC. Uh, I also like AD and D because it was just more hardcore, and I like more hardcore RPGs. I also like the character creation in uh, this in this type of game. Um, essentially, you don't really create characters. You roll a bunch of peasants. And play an introduction quest, and the ones that survive get backstories. So this is a quest that I've been working on, or a game that I've been working on. It is essentially the 5th edition Fantasy XIV, the free RPG day module, but I've changed it to work with DCC rule sets. So this is a quest that I've been working on for a bit. As you can see, I've written a lot. You don't have to look at it, because I know I did it wrong, so just let me, just let me be wrong. Uh, and that is the main shelf. Uh, and also Jameson. I don't know if you noticed the Jameson, but that is not a fake bottle. That's real. It's partially full, and I drink out from it occasionally because sometimes, man, just, just, man. This is a shelf right next to it, and this is board games. Not much to say here. It's just where I keep all my board games, as well as Grim Fandango. It's not a board game. I just love it. Uh, that is Warhammer, uh, the, uh, role-playing game. Uh, yeah, the Warhammer role-playing game. I got a flea market for five bucks. Have not got a chance to really look into it too much, um, but it's all there. And if I ever do want to play in Warhammer RPG, I got it. Tape is for uh, stability purposes. Cause uh, Forbidden Island, Forbidden Desert, uh, Pandemic. Then we got Betrayal of the House on the Hill, Elder Sign, which is probably one of my favorite, probably my my most favorite game of all time. I just really like Elder Sign. It it uses dice, which is probably why I like it because I have a sickness. Uh, old School Monopoly. I got Pokemon Monopoly. I got Old School Clue. Uh, King of Tokyo, Sheriff of Nottingham, uh, Fallout Monopoly. I don't actually like Monopoly. I just happen to have a lot of them. Seven Wonders, and then a bunch of micro games over there. Then I got Mansions of Madness, and two of the Pathfinder adventure card games. Uh, I've gotten rid of some board games, so I don't have too much. But the ones I do, I like. Oh, and Munchkin. Because you, you got to have Munchkin if you have a board game collection. And also a bag. Because I thought it looked cool next to uh, all the fantasy stuff that I have going on here. <laughs> Oh no, I've disturbed the bag. Yeah, so that's it. That's my RPG shelf that I've been working on. Just hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later in more videos. But until then, books, too many books. I have so many, so many books. Stop, please. No more. Stop, stop, stop.